All right, we are going to begin first gluing of the computer. So to begin with, you want to, if you look at your cubes, they have a the grain is different on two sides, and that's where it was cut when they cut the wood at the store. So usually I try to do grain to grain whenever I'm gluing, but it's not a big deal since you'll be painting, but it's just something I like to do. You'll notice on some of your cubes, about 95% of them are all one inch by one inch, but every now and then you'll get a cube that is slightly not the same size. You should be able to see this, and you can tell the, the one on the right is not one inch. These are not necessarily bad, it's just that the problem is once you start gluing them, and you get a square going, that's an example here, you're gonna start to get this gap that will, unfortunately as it goes on, the gap will get worse and worse and then the lines will stop lining up and it becomes a very big hassle to deal with. So you, hopefully you can try to catch it before uh, it starts becoming too much of a problem. So whenever you get these small cubes, set them off to the side because they are actually pretty helpful to have in the future. And I'm sure we'll use some in the future and I'll show you then. So if you ever do see any of these small ones, just put them off to the side. Like I said, there's probably only five out of a hundred of these that you'll actually uh, have to deal with. All right, so get your wood glue. I usually go with this pretty quick. Um, I'm actually move the camera a little closer on a lower angle for you guys. It's gonna be a little jarring for a second here. Okay, well, let's say still, yeah. So, when you're doing, when you're gluing, usually I just glue in a straight line all the way across. I usually work my way from the bottom all the way up. I don't work on different parts of the build. Like I won't make like an arm and then a leg and then the body and then glue the arm to the body, then the leg to the body. It's a lot better if you just build from one spot and go the whole way through from that one spot. You get a lot stronger, you have a lot stronger of a connection. So that's pretty much as much glue as you're going to need. You don't gonna need to get too crazy with it. Um, so all you do is just push it together pretty firmly. Wipe any excess glue. Sometimes I have a paper towel or something nearby. I don't have one right now, but I just wipe it off on my clothes. I have some work clothes, so it's not a big deal. So all you do is you glue that, and then that's it. And then we're going to repeat this about 2,000 times. All right, see you guys uh, at the end of the build. No, I'm just kidding. Well, we'll do some more. But um, so pretty much right away, it sticks pretty fairly well, but it's still uh, movable, but it starts to get stiffer as time goes on. After an hour, this is gonna be very solid. So you wanna make sure you have the right amount of cubes in your line. So I'm working on the bottom foot of the Minecraft Creeper. So if you see right here, whoops. I have the front of it, which is about 12 uh, cubes wide and nine cubes tall, and it's about six cubes deep. So that's what I'm working on right now. So I'm gonna just get 12 cubes wide. So I'll just show you guys the first row here, and then I'll come back once we have the leg done. Um, I am using these plastic cubes in the background here. I am using these for light to come through. I use them for light green spots on the creeper and the white spots on the creeper. And that way when the computer turns on, it'll light up and look pretty nice. I usually like to add lights somewhere on my computer just because I think that's a staple of computers is just having lights on it. And usually on some of my computers I try to have like a clear window so you can see the computer parts on the inside. whole time wrong. Alright, and one more cube, we're at 12. Alright, so this is 12. Sometimes, like you kind of see me do there, is I'll put them on loose right at the beginning, just to get a whole line done. 
and then I'll come back through and I'll squeeze them together to get a good bond. I'll wipe up the excess glue. That's pretty good. I'm actually gonna try something different. Uh, do I need? No, I don't need to use them. I was gonna actually use my big clamp, but I actually don't need to use for this. So right for the first, always for the first line is, you wanna make sure it's pretty straight, narrow, flat, and as it's drying, you just want to keep an eye on, make sure it's as uh, flat as it can be. Sometimes you can use a, if you can get something that's pretty f narrow, not narrow, straight. Say this box, for example, uh, you can kind of actually lean it up against it to help straighten everything out, but this actual box is uh, pretty bad. Don't. Use something sturdier that doesn't bend, but you can also just do it like this. So, so now all I'm going to do is just keep building it up until I get 12, uh, 12 rows tall, and then we'll come back. Every now and then you'll see some holes in here uh, in the build, and that's because this is where I'm going to put the plastic cubes, and so I'm just going to put it as a placeholder here, and I'm going to glue around it like such, but I'm not actually going to glue directly to this cube. Wood glue does not bond well to plastic, so you have to use a different glue for that. Just for the sake of easing my painting job in the future, I'm not going to glue at all to these, this plastic cube. I'm just going to leave it so there's a hole there. I'm going to have it there just so I have the shape of the hole there, and then I'm going to, once it's all totally dry, I'm just going to pull it out and then in the future, once everything's done painting, I'm just going to slide those in, and then it'll be good to go. Okay, so like I said, I'm just going to I'm going to make the whole base of the foot here, so it's going to look something like this when I'm done. Except it'll be 12 inches tall. So, all right, I'll see you later. And when we get that far.